We are proud of the Marines. You know, people said, oh, you must be tough. No, no, no. No, not tough. It's what you are yourself. I'll tell you what, you never see so many young blokes like ourselves. Newcastle, Scots people, Welsh people, they bring you together after six weeks of training. I've marched so many places all over the, all over the country. And eventually, through all the training we did in the London craft, you see the London craft, huh? that's what you did. You jumped off London craft in the night, in the day. We're always out training, training, training for that one day. And uh, it, was, it was something I'll never forget, the way you were treated as men. When you, there was something going on, you never controlled it. You waited. It could have been the next day, but it wasn't, it was D-Day. Then all of a sudden we got, we're going. And we trained all that time. Two sister, outside of two sister. And uh, we all marched up to the, the landing craft, pitch black. Now you're getting the landing craft. The landing craft was ready. And we did the day they landed. Chaos, chaos. When we, the dawn broke, the dawn broke, like it was in the river. The chug, chug of the engine, Cruising in the black and silence is golden. No voice cracks, no thoughts. And some someone said, "Guess a fag." The droning of the planes above you, a glimmer of light from the dawn. And I stood up in the, in the landing car. I looked there. Well, I come from a dock out there, from here, like that. I've never seen so many ships in my life. And right, right in, in front of me was a tug. And right at the stern was a red light. And we followed them all up to there, like, you know. And then you could hear the guns, the planes, over 100, 100, maybe a thousand planes, big bombers on the top here. Never forget. Never forget. And you could hear the, the big guns, the big guns, so, falling on the top of you, like, shh, so, and destroyers and all that, like, you know. And then you could hear all the, the machine guns and, and, and the bullets sit in the water, you know. And some of the, uh, I was on Juno Beach, a lot of the, the left hit was we hit one another, and the lads, they couldn't get out. Got killed, not the lads. The pounding of the beaches by the huge guns, the dropping of bombs, the rattle of machine guns, the plip plop of lead hitting the water. Landing crap was bumping one another. People were trying to get out the water and not times. As luck would have it. The coxswain was made to get it's down come the front doors. That's when you start to move off that beach. And you could hear the, the, the bullets hitting the water from there, from the Germans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well I hit that beach with the lads. You know the that blow they can they can run hundred meters a hundred and ten second bolt. I passed him on the way up. Welcome to hell. It was a toss between devil and God. It was a one way. A lot of people are still there. Nobody, that nobody can cure you the screams of the wounded. And it breaks my heart. Just one of my mates. People have died. You took a chance. It's a 50-50 chance you were going that way where my mates are in the graves. That's what it's all about. You lived and you died. 
People have got thrown and all that. There are bodies everywhere, the beach. Somebody's son, somebody's brother. Remember. They were the boys, they the heroes over there. I've been there three times. Been to the graves. See my mates. I know the names. Good lads. Thank you. Thank you. Two words. Please and thank you. Severity costs you nothing. I've had my time. I've done my best. And that's all you can do. Be nice to people. That's TV. That's where you lived and died. Hope you'll never see it again. <laughs>